1.8 volt that is available in the sing in the signal IC which is the network IC and uh, yeah if you take a look you will see the phone is set to 2G you can see it has network right there so let's test and see if dialing any code will work and as you can see just like that and very smooth try to make a call and everything is good so we have this samsung phone that i received from another shop with network problem if you check here you will see emergency call this phone is samsung a51 and uh, if you try to switch between the network settings like i always say that if you receive a phone with network problem try switching between the net network settings by going to the settings go to the settings then you will see mobile network so if you click the mobile network you will see network modes in some mobile phones you will see network preferences here so we have network mode here so if you check you will see we have 3g we have 2g we have 4g 3g and 2g so if you select 2g only in this particular mobile phone on this particular mobile phone the phone it's not going to see any network if you set it to 3g also the phone is not going to see any network but if you set it to this other mode here to that automatically selects uh, the network that is available the best network that is available which is 4g 3g or 2g you will see that the phone is going to detect network so the problem here let me show you so i set it to that auto mode you will see that that's network right that's the sim card showing there not emergency call so before we work on this phone i want you to understand that this phone even though it's seeing network here if you go to the phone app then try to make any call if you go to the phone app try to make any call let me show you what will happen let's try to make any call here it's not going to ring and the call is going to end so if you come and dial any code let's see i just dial this code to check uh, airtime if i click here you will see what will happen it's going to load it's going to load for some time and nothing is going to happen so why is this happening this is happening because only 4g is available and 4g is not to make calls activate dial stop so when you are activating or making a call as soon as you click the call the phone automatically drops down to 2g network or 3g network before you can be able to make that call so if the 2g and the 3g network is not available the phone is not going to be able to make any call as you can see that that's what happened when you try to dial any code there so the 2g and the 3g network is not available here it can be the tracks of the network maybe the antenna but in most cases it's the network i see i just started opening dismantling the phone i'm just going to completely dismantle the phone if you look here you will see that we have the antenna socket i've tested everything is okay in fact everything is clean i've checked the downboard and everything is okay so if you look the antenna socket you will see the track the track here is very clear and the the ohm reading of the antenna which is the middle pin if you see take a look at this particular pin here if you take a look at the middle pin which connects to this you will see that it's okay just that the ohm reading is okay so what we are going to do here let's uh, remove the shield of the network section we are going to remove this shield first we remove observe and see if you will see any physical damage if there is no physical damage then we go on check the the dial reading of the surrounding components and then we find the power supplies so first thing let's remove the shield
So after removing the shield, we are going to observe the PCB and see if we are going to see any physical damage, any physical damage component. And from the look of things, just like the other circuits in the PCB, other section, everything is clean. Everything is clean and here we have, I think this should be the last amplifier IC of the network. That this should be that of the 3G and 2G. Then this the 4G. So the problem might be coming from this or the main network IC. So everything looks okay. We are just going to check the diode reading after checking the the diode reading of the components, like especially the network IC, which is this. We are going to check the power supplies. If you take a look at this particular track, you will see that it's going to this component, which means that it if you had to test, you will test the reading from here to the network antenna. So the current, the, the network signal is supposed to pass through this uh, switch here to the network antenna. So if you take a look at the schematic diagram, you will see that the signal passes through this and also it comes to this switch here. So which means that if you are testing, if you're testing, you have to set one probe here. Set one probe and test if you will get any any reading. So that's a bit, which means that the connection between these two filters is okay. And also, if I test the middle pin of the antenna socket, you will see that it's beeping. So this is where I'm testing. If I test here, you will hear a bit. So there is no open circuit between the network antenna and this IC here. So you can see it passes through this component also and it's supposed to beep when I test. So that reading is okay. So we are focusing on this IC. Well, I say this is the 2G and the 3G amplifier IC. So the most important thing that we should take a look at, we are going to look for the power supply. We are going to look for the power supply and uh, I use Orion schematic diagram to know where the power supplies are getting into the IC from. We have two capacitors here and if you check the diode reading you will see that it has a diode reading but because you see a diode reading here it doesn't mean that there is a connection between the this capacitor and the power supply component, which is the power manager IC. It has a connection with this IC, and that might be the only reason why you are getting a diode reading here. So these two capacitors we have. The main power supply capacitor here that uh, gets in the, the VPH voltage, which is the main power supply voltage to the component. And we have this other one with the PMU voltage, which is 1.8 volt. So you get the 1.8 volt when you switch on the phone. And we are going to test this, find the 1.8 volt by switching on the phone. And for the standby voltage, which is the VPH voltage here, the voltage should be available as soon as you connect the battery. So we are looking for those voltages first then. If you get the voltage, then we will move to the main network IC, then check here. But for now, we have to focus here. So I will just have to switch on the phone and see. Switch on the phone, test the voltages, test the 1.8 volt and the, and the, the main power supply voltage and see if I will get the voltage that I'm looking for. After looking for this main power supply, the main power supply was available in the signal amplifier IC, but the voltage that was lacking was the 1.8 volt. So what I had to do, I had to locate the power manager IC to test the surrounding components and see if 
we have the 1.8 volt out of the power manager IC or the power manager IC is not just giving out the 1.8 volt. That's why I was removing this shield. And you need to keep in mind that to test and find this power supply that I'm talking about, the phone needs to be on. The main power supply of the signal amplifier I see is a standby voltage which means that even if the phone is not on you will get that main power supply. But for the 1.8 volt you can see I'm doing this testing here. The phone is triggered. The phone is on for the power manager I see to give out the PMU voltages. So I tested that 1.8 volt was lacking here. This is the signal amplifier I see but we had a 1.8 volt here. We have the 1.8 volt, which is in the same line, seems like we have uh, like an open circuit that is stopping the 1.8 volt from going, from leaving the power manager IC or the track that is going to the uh, network IC to go to the signal amplifier IC. So this is where we get the 1.8 volt out of the power manager IC. So that capacitor right there. That capacitor has a 1.8 volt. There is a 1.8 volt there, and this 1.8 volt is supposed to go to the main network IC. If you check the schematic diagram, and also it needs to come to the signal amplifier IC here, and there is no 1.8 volt here. So what we had we had to do is very simple. We had to to do a jumper here. Just take a look. You will see what I'm doing. And while you are watching. If you want to learn things like this, I teach most of this on my YouTube channel, Facebook, TikTok uh, account. And also, if you want to learn everything in great detail, I have my courses, a basic level and a professional level course. The professional level course, you learn things like this. You learn schematic reading. You learn block diagram reading, in which you can also get my new book, The Block Diagram Master, to study every single circuit in a block diagram format. So you see what we are doing right here. I jump out that cable from the signal amplifier IC from the capacitor that we are, that needs to have the 1.8 volt. And I jump out it to this capacitor here. That capacitor has a 1.8 volt, which is supposed to be the same line with that one of the signal amplifier IC. So just take a look and see what I'm doing here. So like I was saying, if you want my courses, I have... My basic and professional level course, you can get it using the number. Just send me a message using the number on the screen. Get it from the link in the video description, the link on my bio if you're on TikTok, or the link uh, in the comment section if you're watching this on Facebook. So I sold that the wires and I use my UV light to cure the, the wires because I do not want the, the wires to be going uh, all around the PCB. So I have, want them to stay in one place. So as you can see what I did right here, I also glued the the wire there, just like that, and uh, very smooth. So if you take a look, you will see the connection. It's very clear and very smooth. So I just jump at the 1.8 volt that is available in the sing in the signal IC, which is the network IC, and uh, yeah, if you take a look, you will see the phone is set to 2G. You can see it as network right there. So let's test and see if dial in any code will work and as you can see just like that and very smooth try to make a call and everything is good well answer is my right here don't forget to subscribe follow and get my courses